Hello friends, my name is Vikas. So friends, in this video, we will be discussing some of the most important current affairs of the topic science and technology of December month. This video will be very helpful to you. So do watch the video till the end. So friends, we'll start with the session. But before that, we have something important to tell you about. So friends, we have an app by the name Carious Cloud, which you can go and download using the Play Store. Once you have downloaded it, you need to log in with your Google ID. And once you have logged in, you will be moved to this page. And here you can see the current affairs section. Here is your all courses, my courses, doubt section and your home section where we will be providing you with the current affairs quizzes and the PDFs if you have purchased our course. For the course, we offer multiple courses. The courses are very good and will be helpful to you based on your one year preparation or two year preparation. You can choose any of them. In the course, we provide you current affairs in both Hindi as well as English. In current affairs section, we provide you daily current affairs, weekly current affairs as well as monthly current affairs. In daily current affairs, we will be providing you with not just the content, also we will be giving you a 20 questions quiz daily so that you can assess your performance. Similarly, in weekly, we will be giving you on weekly basis a quiz of 50 questions which you can assess apart from that we'll be giving you a combined pdf of the whole week that will be containing important current affairs of that weeks and same for the monthly basis apart from this we do topic wise current affairs that is there are multiple topics such as apps and web portals important days books and authors national affairs uh, international affairs so all these topics are covered by us on our youtube channel where you can refer to those videos and apart from this we also cover the banking questions and banking exams so the courses will be very helpful to you they will be very beneficial to you i suggest you to go and check our courses and if you made up your mind to purchase the course you can use the code vikas10 and you will be getting an additional 10 percent discount on the purchase you make so go now Check our courses because they are very helpful and will be very beneficial to you if you are preparing for the government exams. So friends, we'll start with the session. In this, we will be discussing some important science and tech questions. Apart from this, we will also be covering some important one-liners. So it will be a good practice session. Let's start. First, Nagaland Police has launched Call Your Cop mobile application for citizens. This question can be framed in such a way that they will be asking that Call Your Cop is it is a mobile application, a website, a portal, or none of these, or all of these. Alright, so you have to go with mobile application, and it was launched by Nagaland Police. Center formed a committee to review criteria for reservations for EWS that was headed by Ajay Bhushan Pandey. It will be asking that the committee that was launched to review criteria for reservation for EWS was headed by whom? It was headed by Ajay Bhushan Pandeji. Niti Ayo committee released an online report that is ODR that is online dispute resolution that was headed by whom? It was headed by Arjun Kumar Sikri. Important one. All right. Arjun Kumar Sikri headed the committee of or that was released on the report online dispute resolution. All right important next we will be talking about hornbill festival hornbill festival is celebrated in which state the state's name is nagaland highly important and it is celebrated in naga heritage village of kisama nagaland hornbill festival related to nagaland then next we'll be talking about now a satellite a new communication satellite that was launched by which country the name of the country is china what is the name of this new communication satellite the name is Zhongzing 1D. This is the name of the satellite or a new communication satellite that was launched by which country? It was launched by China from Shizeng Satellite Launch Center that is located in Sichuan province of China. All right. This Zhizhong 1D is also known by the name China Set 1D. So either if China Set 1D is given or Zhongzing 1D is given, they were launched by China and they are a communication satellite. From where they were launched? They were launched from Shizeng Satellite Launch Center that is located in Sichuan province. If we look at the key points related to this, the rocket that was launched to carry this satellite into space was Long March 3B carrier rocket. This ent uh, Using this, the satellite entered the planned orbit successfully. Rocket is regarded as the mainstay of the Chinese space program since 1970 and most of the satellite of China are launched into space by the Long March 3B rocket. This launch marked the 399th mission for the Long March series carrier rockets. It was developed by China Academy of Space Technology CAS. So if asked that who 
developed it it was developed by cast and services provided are high quality voice data radio telecommun television telecommission services etc so this new communication satellite will be providing all these datas is developed by cast and launched by long march 3b carrier rocket and the country that launched it was your china all right moving on next next we will be talking about a russian navy recently test fired a hypersonic missile can you guess the name of the missile the name is what zircon or tiscon you can say either way all right this missile was recently test fired by russian navy all right if it is asked which country russia and that to the force was russian navy that test fired this tuscon or zircon cruise missile this is a hypersonic missile in and the location where this was test fired was your white sea all right so two three question russian navy test fired it name of the missile is zircon it is a hypersonic missile the location where this was test fired is white sea this was test fired from a raw admiral gorshov frigate all right this is the name of the ship of russian navy from which this was test fired and it struck a target of 400 kilometers or you can say 250 nautical miles all right this is also the measure of distance in ocean or seas all right so but this is just the test uh, lo uh, test range in which this hit actual range of this missile is of around 1000 km all right this is the latest launch in the series of zircon that will be commissioned into the russian navy in year 2022 next next we'll be talking about inmarsat 6f1 this is a new communication satellite that was launched into the orbit by which country japan so coming back russian is of tiscon and that was a hypersonic missile china set that was a new communication satellite of china and this inmarsat inam marsat this is inam in marsat 6f1 this is of japan so these two satellite and this is also a communication satellite if it is given china set that was of china as the name suggests or jingzong china and if it is talking about in marsat this is related to which country japan all right full name is in marsat 6f1 Japan has launched the new communication satellite through a Mitsubishi Heavy Industries MHI H11A2O4 rocket from Japan's Tengshima Space Center. Remember, this is the longest rocket they have been using since 2001. All right, it is a very reliable rocket, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries MH1 H11 rocket. All right, this series of rocket they have been using since 2001. It is developed by London-based company Inmarsat as a part of its next generation satellite broadband services. The satellite is twelve thousand sixty pound, that is around five thousand four hundred seventy kilograms, and is the first of two I six spacecraft. All right. So coming back, the question that will be asked from you in exam is the name of the satellite that is Inmarsat six F one is the satellite that was launched into the orbit by which organization or by which country? It is your Japan and in other way it can ask it is a communication satellite or what kind of satellite is it next coming back to some important one liners delhi police has recently launched e learning platform the name of the platform is unnati and it is to skill school dropouts a very important mark this all right highly important delhi police has launched e learning platform that is unnati to skill school dropouts second comes your first drone mela we have discussed this multiple time that where was the first drone mela in our country organized it was organized in gwalior madhya pradesh next government laid foundation stone for ma umiyam dham development project in which state it was laid in gujarat and if its city is asked it is your ahmedabad next Odisha inked agreement with UNCDF United Nation Child Development Fund to launch Mission Shakti Living Lab for financial empowerment of women coming back Odisha inked agreement with UNCDF to launch what it was to launch Mission Shakti Living Lab and what is Mission Shakti Living Lab it is a financial empowerment for women or in this they will be teaching women how to be financially independent and how to save money how to invest money or how to get skills to earn money all right everything will be taken care of here
नेक्स्ट इज योर एस्कट वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी दिस वॉज लॉन्च इन और विच वेयर इज दिस लोकेटेड इट इज लोकेटेड इन उत्तराखंड एंड वॉट वॉज इट डिक्लेयर इट वॉज डिक्लेयर एज इको सेंसिटिव जोन सो क्वेश्चन कैन बी आज दैट रिसेंटली अ वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी इन उत्तराखंड वॉज डिक्लेयर एज इको सेंसिटिव जोन वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी इट इज एस्कॉट वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी और दिस क्वेश्चन कैन बी आज इन योर जी एस सेक्शन एज वेयर इज द एस्कॉट वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी लोकेटेड इट इज उत्तराखंड बिकॉज द क्वेश्चन दैट आर इन न्यूज रिसेंटली आर जनरली आस्ट इन योर जी एस पोश ऑल राइट सो एस्केट वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी इज इन उत्तराखंड नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट अनदर सेटेलाइट दैट वॉज लॉन्च बाय चाइना एंड द नेम ऑफ द सेटेलाइट इज यूआन वन जीरो टू ई विद अ हायर रेजोल्यूशन टू फाइंड रिसोर्सिस लेट्स लुक एट इट सी एन एस ए वॉट इज सी एन एस ए चाइना नेशनल स्पेस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन दिस इज द स्पेस एजेंसी ऑफ चाइना स्टेटेड अबाउट चाइनाज लॉन्च ऑफ अ न्यू सेटेलाइट विद अ हाई रेजोल्यूशन कैमरा दैट कैन टेक पिक्चर्स ऑन द ग्राउंड विद अ रेजोल्यूशन ऑफ फाइव मीटर्स दिस इज अ वेरी पावरफुल कैमरा द सेटेलाइट नेम्ड यूआन वन जीरो टू ई और फाइव मीटर्स ऑप्टिकल सेटेलाइट ओ टू ई वॉज लॉन्च बाय लॉन्ग मार्च फोर सी रॉकेट ऑल राइट अर्लियर इट वॉज लॉन्च बाय द चाइना सेट वॉज लॉन्च बाय यूजिंग लॉन्ग मार्च फोर बी दिस वॉज लॉन्च यूजिंग लॉन्ग मार्च फोर सी रॉकेट फ्रॉम द चुआन सेटेलाइट लॉन्च सेंटर इन नॉर्थ चाइनाज शेंगजी प्रोवियंस सो कमिंग बैक क्वेश्चन विल बी आज यूएन यूआन वन जीरो टू ई इज अ सेटेलाइट दैट वॉज लॉन्च बाय विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बाय सी एन एस ए एंड द कंट्री इज योर चाइना All right, and this is carrying high resolution camera to in the search of minerals. Long March 4C carry rocket also sent a small satellite that belongs to Beijing 101 Middle School into the orbit. Another important that recently, which country sent a satellite that belonged to a middle school into orbit was your China, and it used Long March 4C carry rocket for it. It carries payloads such as small imaging camera. intelligent processing equipment and equipment for conducting experiments on semiconductor thermoelectric generation straight run yuan all right if we talk about china capital is beijing and president is xi jinping next important one it is your james webb space telescope very important as you can see the uh, in the image these golden are gold coated all right these gold why are they gold coated because this camera or this space is a type of a telescope that searches in the infrared region all right this works in the infrared region so why this gold coating is important just as additional information because when we look into the infrared region right uh, let's move on when we look uh, see infrared when we look into the infrared region no so the heat or the light producing or the heat generating objects will appear in the red color all right and all the cold will appear in blue so like we are looking into the colorful world the james space telescope actually looks into the red and blue all right that means the heat generating source will have or the light emitting source will have a red color and the rest will have blue color so that is the reason for this gold plating because when we are into the atmosphere there is a very cold into the atmosphere we know oh, in the vacuum in the space it is very cold but apart from that even the working of equipment generates some amount of heat so those the heat that is generated from the satellite itself do not interfere with the this infrared region imaging that it will be rece receiving that is the reason it was plated with gold just an any other information coming back james space uh, james webb space telescope it is in uh, launched by which organization it was launched by nasa first thing you need to know and from where it was launched it was launched from french guinea on december 25 nasa and it is one of the it is it is being said that it is one of the best or the most scientific advanced telescope that has been launched into the space nasa it was launched by nasa james webb space telescope is an infrared telescope launched through the ariana space heavy lift ariana 5 rocket from the european space agency's space port in koru french guinea all right mark this important so question from this will be asked that it works in which region it works in infrared region launched by whom it was launched by nasa and it is a telescope All right. Next, next you you should know about Indian Army has recently established a quantum laboratory where important location is. You should know this. All right. So Indian Army has established a quantum laboratory or a quantum lab at the Military College of Telecommunication Engineering in Military Headquarters of War in Indore, Madhya Pradesh. So. <coughs> 
वेयर वॉज दिस क्वांटम लैब इस्टेब्लिश इन विथ स्टेट इट वॉज इस्टेब्लिश इन मध्य प्रदेश एंड इन मध्य प्रदेश टू इट वॉज इस्टेब्लिश इन इंदौर देन इफ द नेम ऑफ द कॉलेज और यूनिवर्सिटीज आर देन यू शुड नो मिलिट्री कॉलेज ऑफ टेली कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग वॉज इन दिस इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज दिस क्वांटम लैब वॉज इस्टेब्लिश बाय विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और बाय होम इट वॉज इनग्रेटेड बाय और इस्टेब्लिश बाय इंडियन आर्मी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मार्क दिस ऑल राइट नेक्स्ट इज योर मनोज कुमार मगो हैज बिन अपॉइंटेड एज द कमांडेंट ऑफ एन डी सी दैट इज योर नेशनल डिफेंस कॉलेज मार्क दिस कमांडेंट ऑफ नेशनल डिफेंस कॉलेज हु इज ही मनोज कुमार मगो जी नेक्स्ट स्मृति मंधाना हैज बिन अपॉइंटेड एज द ब्रांड एम्बेसडर ऑफ गूवी गूवी इज एन इंक्यूबेटेड स्टार्टअप और यू कैन इंक्यूबेटेड इज बिकॉज इन आई आई टी एम दैट इज आई आई टी मद्रास इन आई आई टी मद्रास ओनली द स्टार्टअप वॉज स्टार्टेड एंड द प्लेस एंड ऑल द इक्विपमेंट्स और ऑल एवरी थिंग वॉज प्रोवाइडेड बाई आई आई टी मद्रास ओनली सो स्मृति मंदाना हैज बिन अपॉइंटेड एज द ब्रांड एम्बेसडर ऑफ गूवी एंड वॉट इज दिस गूवी गूवी इज अ स्टार्टअप दैट इज ऑफरिंग फ्री पाइथन एंड आर्टिफिशियल आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस कोर्सेज ऑल राइट एंड टाई अप विथ ए आई सी टी ई नेक्स्ट गीता गोपीनाथ विल बी अपॉइंटेड एज द न्यू फर्स्ट डेप्यूटी मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर ऑफ आई एम एफ वी हैव डन दिस इंपॉर्टेंट जस्ट रिव्यूशन ऑल राइट गीता गोपीनाथ बिकॉज वाई दिस इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज शी इज अपॉइंटेड एज द न्यू फर्स्ट डेप्यूटी मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर ऑल राइट ऑफ आई एम एफ आई एम एफ इज योर इंटरनेशनल मॉनिटरी फंड एंड वेर इज दिस लोकेटेड दिस इज द हेड क्वार्टर ऑफ आई एम एफ इज इन वॉशिंगटन डी सी वॉशिंगटन डी सी ऑल्सो हैज अ हेड क्वार्टर इन होल्ड द हेड क्वार्टर्स ऑफ World Bank, I told you many times, they both have headquarters in same location. Next, next we'll be talking about a hypersonic weapon prototype that was recently launched by South Korea. As you can see in the picture, this is a High Core. All right, the name is High Core. It is a model for the weapon named High Core, which is a hypersonic weapon prototype that was launched by which country? It was launched by South Korea. The Agency for Defense Development at under South Korea's Military of Defense has unveiled a model for hypersonic weapon prototype that was named High Core. All right, mark this. And the testing of this High Core is expected to begin in the year 2022. Next, next we'll be talking about IXPE X-ray Space Telescope that was recently launched by SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, and this is a NASA's new space. telescope that is ixpe x-ray all right my as you can see here in the picture and two to three information you need to remember the rocket that took into the space was spacex falcon 9 it was launched or it is a mission of which organization it is of nasa and what is the name of the this space telescope it is ixpe x-ray and what is it is it a uh, satellite or it is a communication satellite as we discussed earlier no it is a space telescope so you need to remember this also all right NASA launched new imaging X-ray polarimeter explorer. This is the full form of IXPE. Remember, imaging X-ray polarimeter explorer. X-ray it is a space telescope to unlock secrets of extreme cosmic objects. It was launched into the space by SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from which location Kennedy Space Center in Florida, USA. All right, and it is a project in collaboration with NASA and the Italian Space Agency. But remember, NASA is more important. next next we'll be talking about a new nuclear powered ice breaker that was launched by russia highly important and it has been launched to boost india's arctic plans via northern sea route so the name of this new nuclear power ice breaker is sibri these are the ships that are powered by nuclear power and they as you can see here they are breaking the ice and making the way to go into the places that normal ship can't reach all right so this is a new nuclear powered ice breaker the name of this ship is sibri and it is launched by russia and this will help to boost indian india's arctic plans launched by russia and it is first in the series of the project 22000 2020 versatile nuclear powered ice breaker known as sibri it will be support the growing fleet of ice breakers to keep the northern sea route open for a year round shipping arctic through, uh, through arctic and enable wider presence of india in the arctic region so it will helping india's to explore more in the arctic region all right remember this project is nuclear powered ice breakers are the most powerful and the largest in the world and they are being developed by whom by russia 
If we talk about Sibri, the construction of Sibri was started in 2015 and the icebreaker was floated on 22nd December 9, 2017. Sibri was handed over to the Rosatom State Atomic Energy Collaboration uh, Corporation for exploitation. The Delivery Acceptance Act was signed on 24 December at the Baltic shipyard St Petersburg, Russia. No need to remember this much. Just remember this is an additional information. Next to the one-liners, Uttarakhand Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami launched Milk Price Initiative Scheme. Mark this: Milk Price Initiative Scheme was launched by which state? By Uttarakhand, and it was launched by Pushkar Singh Dhami ji. Niti Aayog has launched E Savari India Electric Bus Coalition with CESL and WRI India. Mark this important E Savari. These buses are launched. Uh, these buses that used to run earlier on your fossil. energy or uh, fossil energy such as your petrol or diesel so now they will be running on electric all right that means electric is being promoted now by niti aayog also not just niti aayog all if you have uh, watched our previous video you must have gathered the information that uttar pradesh uttar pradesh was the top state or the state that topped in the most number of sales of electric vehicle in 2021 All right, electric uh, Uttar Pradesh topped in the sales of the electric vehicles. Remember this. Coming back, Airtel partnered with Invest India to launch Airtel India Startup Innovation Challenge. Fortune India's most powerful women in India's list 2021, and it was topped by Nirmala Sitharaman ji, who is our finance minister. So in India, according to the Fortunes India, most powerful women in India list 2021. Who is she? Nirmala Sitharaman. Who is our finance minister? Next is Niti Aayog to establish 1,000 Atal Tinkering Labs in which location in Jammu and Kashmir. Mark this also. Who will be developing it? It will be developed by Niti Aayog. Next, then you need to remember about science. If we are talking, then a scientist, E. O. Wilson, who was dubbed as Modern Day Darwin. passed away recently a sad news to all the scientists the united states scientist and a professor and a author edward o wilson also who was famously known as by the name modern day darwin passed away at the age of 92 in massachusetts us he was born in birmingham albana usa he was fondly called as the father of social biology and the father of biodiversity for his environmental advocacy all right remember edward o wilson he was known as he was also known as modern day darwin who recently passed away to friends ye thi hamari video agar aapko aaj hamari video se kuch na kuch seekhne ko mila hai to jaldi se jaiye aur hamare channel ko subscribe kar dein aur is video ko like kar dein aur friends agar aapko hamare content se related ya fir hamari koi app se issue aa raha hai koi bhi aap aapko problem hai to aap hamari gmail id jo ki hai support@theratefaffairscloud.com ya fir hamara number 9677338362 par contact kar sakte hain and hamari team jaldi se jaldi aapke issue ko resolve karne mein aapki sahayata karegi so take care